Hello and good morning, and welcome back to the game where there is never too many churches. This is Foundation. Let's get right into it. All right, we're back in this lovely little uh, natural city builder, and we had villagers leave to unhappiness last time. Well, right after we ended last time. Oh, we finished another fisher set. Let's just find a couple villagers there real quick. All right, uh, we don't have any villagers. I guess that goes back to the same idea. So we have villagers leave due to unhappiness. Uh, it should show in the logs right here. Yep, they're on their way out of town. I think only one left, but it's still sad. Yeah, they're slowly making their way out. I believe they were a forager, so we do need to get another forager. And it was because of, we don't really have that much housing. We have a lot of relaxing high level housing, which I guess means that our residential, whatever it's called, desirability is low in a lot of areas. Yeah, you can see here it's actually very high, but no one's building a house. Let's uh, encourage a little bit more growth up that way. Maybe that will sprout a house soon. I don't know. Or an upgrade to one. That's what I can hope for. Actually, what we can do to try to increase the land value a little bit and encourage maybe this house to grow, put fences in. Fences always do great. That's my... Oh, okay, I did that wrong. You need to shift click. That way, for some reason, it doesn't cost anything to build. Okay, unless they patch that. I think it just got a small patch today. Unless he plays multiple. Yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me do it. Okay, so I guess that's a thing now. Oh, I don't know. Uh, fence, 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 high fence. Alright. Another one, like, here. Yeah, okay. And... For whatever reason, it's not letting me build them. Why? What's going on here? Um... Is it because we don't have any tools? It might be because we don't have any tools. Alright. I guess that's fair. We'll just clear these away for now. And we can place some bushes instead, because that one loves bushes and trees and decorative tree maybe right here. The one over here. Another one, like, actually that'd be a really good place for a bush. I mean, we're close to the church anyways, so people should be loving to live right here anyways. But we'll pop some uh, bushes, you know, you know, things people like to see. I just want to see these houses upgrade. The building of the granary there. So we did have a villager approach the village so we can get another fisherman, which is great. And generally what my idea is for today, my plan is to tear this down and move it over here. I think this island would make a really good keep. I noticed it the other day and I'm like, okay, and we'll build a lord manor here instead. So in terms of efficiency, I don't know how on earth we're going to do this yet. We need another tile and we really don't have that much income at the moment. So my idea for that is we're going to make and sell barrels. The cooperage will produce barrels and it should go well. So we'll get a cooperage somewhere in town, like maybe up here. I think that should be a nice place, but like right there or something. So they'll produce barrels and we can ship them out of town and make money. At least I hope. So that'll be a source of income because if we look at the trade thing here, we were trying to sell cheese. No one wants cheese. No one on earth wants cheese. I don't know why. They'll only buy berries, polished stone, planks, wine, bread, tools, swords, jewelry, fish, common clothes, honey, and barrels. Barrels for 20 gold, that is. So we're going to sell barrels. I figure we can produce quite a bit of them, but we'll be producing a lot of iron soon, hopefully. Uh, when this area is done, actually, we're going to speed time. Because this is our next bake area right here. So the goal is to produce them here and then shuttle everything into town where it will be produced into a final product and then sold. Uh, at least I hope that's the goal. I mean, oh, we got another forger. How many unemployed villagers do we have currently? So if we look, job, scroll all the way to the bottom. We have none. Sad. All right, let's look at our workspaces. We are missing a market tender. I think this is the new one. Yep. Oh, we have four new people inbound. Great. We're missing two bakers. I don't think we actually ever assigned any here, so that's okay. We were missing a carpenter at the sawmill. That's probably what they were. I think that's what they were. And we never really topped up on the rest of these, so... I think this is fine. 
And we are losing a lot of money right now. I think it's... Our main cost is tools. Tools do cost a lot if we go to the trade tree here. We buy them for 20 gold a piece, and we need a lot of tools right now to produce all these buildings that we're building. So, hopefully when we get the iron mine done here, and the iron, the coal hut, we can begin producing tools, because if we go over here back in town, we queued up this blacksmith, which produces tools in exchange for coal and iron. What else we need here is actually a workplace, whatever it's called, a warehouse, that's what it's called. Um, if I can find it, here it is, okay. Then we'll just place it over here so it's just not too close to everything else. And that should be fine. What was my notification? Oh, we have four new villagers in the village. Awesome. All right. Where do we want to send them? Because we were thinking about uh, sawmill, 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 sawmill. Where's sawmill? Sawmill. Big producing. Be begin producing. Because we can sell those planks. And then we're going to really begin assigning people out in this part of town soon. We just don't have any coal yet, so it's kind of pointless. Yeah, no coal. We have a bit of iron. But really, no coal. These are just waiting on builders. That's not that bad. We can assign miners here now. So they'll get mining, producing iron. We'll take the iron here, where it'll get smelted. Which will then come into town, to this warehouse that will be right here. And then uh, turned into tools at this blacksmith. And then some, some of it will be produced into barrels at this cooperage. Ooh, our iron deposits, I believe, have been completed. Out of curiosity, how many... Give me a flower. And no wheat. We don't really produce much of that, which is a shame because, you know, <laughs> we need more bread. Alright, but we have somehow begun getting more villagers into the village. Despite, I don't see have. Oh my god, my English is horrid. <laughs> I feel like half of the things I say are not a complete sentence. I'm sure you guys have noticed that my brain is kind of like just going all over the place while I play this. But we don't have any buildings upgrading, which isn't acceptable. We need to somehow get these buildings up to a higher land value. So what we can do, again, is plant some decorative trees. Like along this path. And then maybe some bushes alongside that. So bush, bush. Bush, bush, bush. I just want to see maybe these buildings in the center of town upgrade. Get some bushes along here. Because we really need these houses to grow. Yeah, this has really low desirability. Right? Really high right there, actually. Bushes are making a very slight difference. Let's get maybe some trees. Like along this bit. I like that. It's really trying to up the land value with trees. Alright, if we come back here. We have it now at very high. So there's a chance those buildings will upgrade. Oh, it's promotion time. We don't have a lot of money, so we're not going to promote that many people. And considering we can't really support, for some reason, the amount of commoners we have, we're not going to promote anyone. I think we're going to leave it as is, as we are slowly losing happiness. Alright, the thing I'm really worried about at the moment is our economy. We are not producing a ton of gold. We're only producing 14. And we're producing less than that now because we had to buy more tools. Figures. But hopefully all this will be done soon. Let's get that built. And we don't have to worry about it anymore. At least that's the... Oh, we're going to get this prioritized as well. Because when those two get built, we don't have to buy tools anymore, which is our large expense for us. Yeah, look at that. We have, like, no money. A new military mission. We aren't quite ready for that. Actually... Now that I think about it, that might be a really good idea. That is a lot of gold. So we need Henry, James, Dominique, Stephen, and Catherine. We're going to send them on this one because I'm not quite ready. Alright, so Catherine. They're pretty much all the higher level ones and then... Who is it? It's Dominique and Henry. They have additional strength. Dominique and Henry. Alright, send off. Good luck. You will serve Quabbleshire greatly. Uh, you got... You stopped the well. Oh no, you're not part of the group, which are all combined into one group. Isn't it great how I make up words? 
Not any thought about it. Oh, but the church is uh, getting there. It's nearly done. You can actually put in that other wall on the other side. Which I was wanting to do from a really long time ago. Alright, small stone wall. Alright, that looks good. I'm going to delete this wall. We're going to retry it. Kind of built it without seeing how it would sit. Alright, fun. Let me delete. Control left click. There we go. Alright, put that there. Alright. I want to. Here we go. That looks way better. And what we can even do. Really, just spice it up a little bit. We'll put some nut bushes. Put some decorative trees along the path. Just like so. I really hope people use that little siding to get into church. And it looks like people already have, so that's really awesome. Okay, we have a lot of actions. We have an envoy. Let's go see what they want. We don't even have five bread. I feel really bad about that, but we have no bread. We hardly have any gold. I mean, it doesn't help I keep spending it on trees, but they do look pretty. Our miners are really hard at work. How much mo How much? We have eight iron ore. Okay. I want to get this built. Luckily, Willibald is hard at work producing the coal hut, which means you can produce the coal to produce the iron to produce the barrels, to produce the tools, to make money. This is all really great to see, and I'm not seeing a single building upgrade. Why? I guess they're not close enough to where they live. I mean, this is a pretty prime real estate right here. Also, I like how this bakery is just empty because there's no point for it yet. There really is no point for that bakery. Oh, we are selling cheese here. Maybe we need to open another food stall. Oh, we're we losing another villager. It was another commoner. I think we need another food stall up here to sell cheese. We get another food stall uh, that way around. No, um. Just like that. And we need, of course, a little sign. Tell them that they sell cheese. Yeah, I don't even know why I have this open. Alright. And we'll get like a barrel here or something. Just something simple. For construction, that will sell cheese. Hopefully, that will actually sell better because we're closer to the richer people in our village. The commoners. Alright, why is this... Yeah, we can do that. Why is this house not upgrading? You should definitely upgrade. One of you guys should. Like, this land value is very good. Oh, the has been built here. I don't remember what we built it for, to be honest. Uh, what can this one not hold? I guess milk. I'm gonna hold milk. So we'll put milk there. That's flour. Whoops. Oh, actually, no, I did want to do that. So this one gets flour, that one gets wheat, and this one gets milk. We'll assign a single villager there, because it's not that... Oh! The church has been built. This is our wonderful new church with a capacity of 56 people. Actually, I think it's smaller than this church. Yeah, I don't... That, that is significantly larger, without question. But for some reason, it has a smaller capacity. It also looks ten times more magnificent. Like, that's a cool-looking church. I mean, between the two, we have just enough capacity. Which reminds me, we need a church up in this part of town. We have no church up here. So let's go ahead and start designing a church. We'll keep it as a rustic church. And we'll put it like here or something. It's just like, kind of sort of out of the way, but not really. Put it there. Oh, I missed. I right clicked again. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy. It just needs to be a church. Which tend to be inherently fancy, but... We want to have a bit of glass to it, so we'll put uh, one of these right here. Lovely. And we're going to try to give it a bit of an extension. Nothing too out there. Something like that. 
gives it a little bit more width. And I think something like that will do as well. And it's nothing too... I'm going to rotate this because the cross like that really bugs me. There. Alright. That looks good like that. Alright, let's start construction. It's a very simple church, but it will do as well. It will serve this part of town, which is the goal. Oh, we can assign a couple charcoal burners. Oh, I didn't press the right button. I just kind of clicked at the same time. Alright, well, we are now producing iron. And the soldiers came back with a lot of money. Look at that. That's a lot of money. Oh, well, well, well. We finished the well. I guess this one up here in this part of town? Yeah, it's right here. We'll see this part of town grow soon. Now that we have people working here. Losing so many villagers due to unhappiness. This isn't good. The villagers missing housing. Which I'm still not sure how to fix. It looks like we are upgrading a house here, which is something. That's good. Let's prioritize that. Junior villagers having places to live. Alright, those are both high-level housing, so we're going to upgrade those. Oh, we got a lot of stuff there. That's great. Oh, and this is finished. Let's get the blacksmith producing tools, because we need that now. Well, we need that, like, three days ago at this point. This will help our economy a lot, because producing tools means we don't have to buy them anymore. We'll still... Actually, we're not going to buy if they're below 20. We can wait for this guy to produce stuff. Uh, yeah, just get rid of that. Lovely. We are now officially producing our own tools for our own village. And soon enough, we'll be producing more. We just need more villagers. Speaking of that, who left the village? We left one of our builders. We lost one of our builders. Not great. Sign. Actually, that one really isn't that important. Um, no, go away. Like, it's important, but we'll assign it later when we need to build another statue. Is what I'm getting at. Where's this? Oh, that's a granary in this part of town. That's important. Let's go ahead and get this built. Up. Oh, it needs berries. It needs fish. And I think bread. Alright. And we'll assign a villager. Just one villager. It's promotion time. I don't feel comfortable promoting people yet because clearly we have a problem in terms of housing. So we're not going to do that yet. We're going to leave us at, leave it as is. Because I don't want more people to leave our village due to unhappiness. Yeah. Actually, this reminds me. We need to go to our bailiff here. Hi. We need a new mandate. Which is... I want you to look at this mineral deposit here. It'll be easier said than done so we have to go through the list. Oh, that's the one. Alright, I don't even know which one I clicked. Alright, this one, yes. Uh, was it this one? No, it was this one. I get to work. It's just conveniently close. If it's like gems or gold or something, we're rich. We can just sell them out of town. But what we should be doing now is producing iron. We need another... Say set of miners, but I don't really know. I don't know what our efficiency is at the moment. I that's the coal I have selected. I don't know. It's just it's backlogged, and we're waiting on coal. Coal is our big thing at the moment. Let's get another. Oh, we can't get another villager there. Dang. Oh, we're up to 83 happiness. I guess some houses are going in. Yeah, this one just got finished. This one got finished. That should meet some of those demands. It's really great that we start seeing these nicer houses kind of spread out a little bit more instead of just in that one place. Oh, is it? Yeah, this part isn't residential. Why not? It's also not really nice, this place. Yeah, I guess there really isn't anything there, so they're not really tempted to live there. We get some trees. Everyone loves trees, right? I mean, I love trees. What's there not to love about trees? I really want this uh, storm to end because, oh. oh, that was beautiful timing. Thank you, game. Because our yields have been very low for a while now, was what I was getting at. I'm wondering if another, like, well here in the center might be good. There's a well right there, but screw it. You can never have too many wells. We'll get one there. Maybe one up here as well. 
all the different churches are going off at one time. It's beautiful. Make a grown man cry. Alright, we are making money on trade now, which is great. I don't even know what we're selling. Whatever it is, I'm glad we are. We're back into business as usual. Uh, we really need another. Oh, we can get another blacksmith. Look at that. We're using all of our own tools. So, what we're going to do now that we're producing a bunch of tools, we're going to sell when we're above 50. Because that is a really great source of money. If we can sell I don't even know if we can sell Yeah, we can sell it for 10. Plus, another villager dude on a happiness. We don't have all the houses we need yet, which is really sad. Let's see if we can find any construction that's underway, and we'll prioritize the housing constructions. I'm not seeing any. Okay, we know we have a bit of house? No. We have a bit of houses up here. I know we have more, more than that. Come on. Yes, we didn't. A warehouse. Well, that's this warehouse. That's a very important warehouse because this will be kind of what facilitates the trade between our iron mine and here. Oh, we don't need more. I don't need coal though. That's perfect. We'll sign a villager there. That should be fine. And this will get us prepared to do pretty much well in our village. And we should store our swords here as well. Because we don't really have any swords, and we need swords. We have no swords. Now let's prioritize these two wells, because when they get built, they'll be higher land value, which will encourage people to live in the area. Hopefully solving our housing crisis that we've been having for a while now. And what we're going to do now, we're going to build a new keep. We're going to move our keep over. We'll re begin the process of it. It won't be finished today. But central on the island here, well, this isn't very central, but I think at each end we'll build one of these. I think it'll be kind of cool. We're going to build that. I also realized no one can get there because there's no way to cross the river yet. Much like last time, we're going to have an entrance way, but it's going to be like that instead. Actually, no, no, no. I liked it like that before. Yes. So we'll put that in there again. And this is just kind of preparing for the future sort of thing. So we'll start construction. And we'll go ahead and queue up a bridge across the water. Just like that. Alright, I think that's a pretty perfect bridge. Actually, I don't like its starting place. Let's try that again. Wooden bridge right here. The reason the game didn't like something about it. Alright, but that should be good. We'll start construction. That way they can cross the river. And this entire keep will get torn down and replaced with a new manor. And I think it'll be pretty nice. Oh, well, well. We've finished two more wells. Which means more houses will pop up. Which means the housing crisis should finally come to an end. I hope. Yeah, we can see the numbers slowly going down. I guess that means people are building houses. Moving into places. I think one of the bigger problems is there aren't houses near where people work. Because this is where people work, relatively speaking. The nearest housing is here and down here. And also we have, we have people that work out here. And people that work here. Although they have now housing space here as well. I think part of it is just there isn't enough reach. Alright, so we have to leave the village, so let's make sure we fill up the buildings that lost workers. Did lose. That's the new food stall that will sell cheese. So let's actually put in the cheese real quick. Cheese. Lovely. We only have one forager here. Alright, now we have three. Three foragers is important. Alright, we have a fifth miner. Is this the new warehouse? No, that's a warehouse that's been down here for a while. What is this warehouse using to do? I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't even think I don't even know why I built this. Let's just get rid of it. We have a blacksmith here. This will produce weapons. Produce tool swords, which we will sell. We have above ten. Perfect. So that will do. Hopefully our economy is in a much stronger place now that we've done these little changes. Do we have any other unemployed villagers? Nope. 
I really hope they get to work on this bridge. I really want to move the keep and build the manor. That's important to me right now. Because we are at the time where we need a bigger manor. Because this manor is great and all. But it really isn't going to last us anymore. We also need to think about bridging this gap. Well, four more people decide to join the village. Yay! Really need every villager we can get at the moment. Can't seem to produce enough coal. We might need another one of these coal huts. Because everything here in town needs coal. I'm trying to think, do I build it here or do I build it out there? I'm not sure. I think we will definitely build another one. Um, let's see here. Coal hut, coal hut. Blast altar. Hmm. Oh, This was just stone. That's a bit sad. I mean, we can use it to mine stone, though. That's not a bad idea. A quarry on here. Two quarries on here. No, actually, we're kind of okay on stone right now, so we're not going to do that yet. But we could send the bailiff to another one, so let's do that real quick. Hello, come on, where's the bailiff? There you are. Hi. Um, let's see, I want to do... No, we're at a different... Alright, I want to do that one. Yeah, that one. Start. Because we can still build in that, so we'll do it there. Uh, it works to me. Promotion time. Again, we're not going to quite do that because we still haven't fully solved the housing crisis. We're working on it. It's a work in progress at the moment. I don't know why it's been so hard. Because it's like... Look at the land value. It, people would love to live here. But for some reason, no one is living there. I really can't explain why. And a little bit more, maybe. Maybe because it's an extraction zone? I don't know. Figure out the extraction zone, because we don't really need it anymore. I'll uh, put this back, though. Put away all this. Because this has all been extracted. Long done. There's a single tree there. Just, like, get rid of all of this, because it doesn't need to exist anymore. Make sure we didn't get rid of, like, a berry or anything. There's the berry. Alright. I don't really know what's up. Alright, well that's all been cleared. A new military mission is available. You know, I think all of our military is back. No, they aren't fully trained. Okay, we can assign these guys some swords. Cool. So, that will get them ready to go. And these guys are getting stronger and stronger. Which means we can take on a harder mission. We're not ready to do that yet. And that's about all the time we have for today. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing y'all next time. Bye for now.